video. So for this video, pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa mga conic sections. Basically po, meron tayong apat na conic sections. Circle, hyperbola, parabola, and ellipse. And I decided na hati na lang yung into different videos, into separate videos para mas ma makapag-focus tayo into a certain conic section. So for this video, it would be circle. So let's talk about circle. Circle, alam natin, bilog, di ba? Circle is bilog. Charot, yan, bilog. Conic sections na circle, makukuha natin yan when we, pag tinapisan natin ng isang cone, cone, di ba? Kaya nga conic section. Tinapisan natin yung cone, sa na yung ito kung mapapansin niyo itong tinapyas natin this should be parallel with the base which is forming a perpendicular perpendicular angle with the altitude so kapag tinapyas natin yan which is parallel to the base then we can get a circle okay, yun yung first na conic section isang section na pag tinapyas mo makukuha mo yung circle so the uh, standard uh, equation for that is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Take note guys sa mga sa mga parts dito. Okay, h guys here, this h and k, h and k is the center. h and k is the center and r is the radius. Alright? So, yun lang naman yung pinaka-importante yung malaman for this uh, circle. H and K. H is the X. K is the Y. That's the center. And R is the length of the radius. Alright? Also, I want to emphasize, this X and Y are points around the circle. So, dito dyan, guys. Dito. We have a point here. Let's say that's 2, 1. That can be your X and your Y. Yun yung pwedeng, uh, yun yung values ng X and Y here. Alright? So, Aside from the standard equation pala, this is the standard equation, meron tayong general equation. G general equation is basically yung equation galing sa standard equation na 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 expand, na expand. For example, ito na square na to, na square na to, na square na rin to, you will have the general equation that would be ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus f equals 0. So basically, makukuha mo to kapag in-expand mo yung standard equation. Alright? So let's try to look paano ba na-derive yung standard equation natin. And again, I would like to rewrite that our standard equation is x minus h squared squared plus y minus k squared is equals to r squared. Take note na palaging kasama ni x si h palaging kasama ni y si k. O, diba? Sana all palagi kasama. Alright. So, again, sabi natin, h and k are the center. So, let's label this. So, ito yung center natin. This center is, again, we know as the h k. Then, we try to draw uh, the radius. Siguro mag-draw tayo ng radius niya. This is the radius, guys. Diba? That's r. Then, we draw a perpendicular line here. Dito. Then, another straight line there to form an add uh, triangle. So, this would be equal to 90 degrees. Okay. So, let's name that this point, this point guys here is x, y, di ba? x, y. So, paano natin na-solve yung, paano natin nakuha itong uh, standard equation ng circle? Basically, nanggaling yan sa uh, Pythagorean theorem. So, isosolve natin tong r. r, which is also the hypotenuse. Di ba? Yung Pythagorean theorem is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Now, c squared, guys, is r, di ba? That's the radius. Radius is squared is equal to what's a? Let's, let's make that this would be a and this would be b. Pero ano yung a, guys? Guys, a here is the change in x. Ibig sabihin, isusubtract natin yung value ng x dito tsaka yung value ng x dito. Yung value ng x dito is h. Yung value ng x dito ay x, di ba? Nakapoint sa baba, which is which means it's also x. So, ibig sabihin, that's x minus h. Kasi, change in x. The distance here to there is the change in x. So, that would be equal to x minus h. Plus, di ba? Plus yon b squared. Ito naman, b squared naman tayo. b squared here, guys, would be equal to the change in the y, which is y minus k. Because k here is the y value, ba? Parang ito, x yan, y yan. This is the x, this is the y. So, that would be y minus k. y minus k. 
So basically guys, dito nang galing, dito na derive yung formula ng standard equation ng circle which is which is equal to r squared is equal to x minus h plus uh, the parenthesis y minus k. Wait, I forgot, may squared tayo doon. Sorry, squared. All right. Again, huwag kakalimutan, r is the radius, h k is the center coordinate. All right? So let's try to solve uh, problems regarding this. All right? Let's try this first problem. Sabi dito, Write the equation of a circle with center at 4, 8 in a radius of 12. Basically, I'm referring here muna sa standard equation ng standard equation of a circle which is at 4, 8 in a radius of 12. So basically, it is basic substitution. Let's say, so let's first write what's the equation. Again, that would be equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to uh, radius squared. Alright. So, paano natin isusulat to? When we are writing in this equation, it's uh, simply substitution. This is the x, this is the y, this is the r. Right? So, that would be equal to x minus h. That's 4. h is 4 because this is the center. Squared plus y minus k. Let's say uh, that's y minus k natin, guys, is 8. Diba? This is x, y, or h, k. Is equal to r squared. r squared natin, that would be equal to 12 squared. And we can simplify this. So let's simplify that out. That would be equal to x minus 4 squared plus y minus 8 squared. Sorry, I forgot the squared there. It's equal to 12 squared is 144. Basically, guys, in a standard equation, this could be your final answer. All right? x minus 4 squared plus y minus 8 squared is equal to 144. Okay, guys. Uh, what if negative naman to? Because here's uh, majority of students make their mistake. And dyan, meron yung center daw is negative 4 and 8. And again, they say that the radius is the same as 12. Write the equation. Yung nangyayari dyan, nagiging x minus 4 squared plus y minus 8 squared is equal to 144. That's wrong, guys. Kasi, this is negative 4. Ibig sabihin, kapag isasubstitute natin yan sa ating formula, that would be equal to x minus negative 4. ba? Plus, that's y minus 8 squared is equal to 12 squared. Let's cross this out. So, ito, minus minus, yan magiging plus. x plus 4 squared plus y minus 8 squared would be equal to 144. So, be mindful of kung negative yan or positive. Alright? Uh, uh, simple mistakes could lead you to some bigger mistakes. Wow, ang inspirational nun. Ah. Basta yan, ganun yung concept guys. Alright? So, next, that's how to write the equation. Tandaan nyo yan. Next problem. Problem naman about conversion. Let's talk about conversion problems. And first is we have here the standard equation. Sabi sa problem, convert the equation of a circle into its general form. Diba? Kasi this is in the standard equation. Diba? Standard form. Uh, x minus h, y minus k equals r squared. So, paano natin yan i-convert? Basically, again, sabi ko nga, itong standard equation, itong general equation is na-derived ng in-expand nila yung standard equation. So, what we will do here, guys, is basically i-expand natin siya. I mean, uh, expanding means Ito is square natin, ito is square natin yan. Alright, so let's do it. I forgot, I forgot. Oh yeah, is square pala natin yan. So kapag in square natin yan, binomial theorem, theorem, that would be equal to x squared plus 8x because that's 4x times 2 plus 4 times 4, that's 16. Plus, we have here y squared minus 10x plus 25. You can do the FOIL method if nahihirapan pa ako sa binomial theorem that would be equal to 50 alright so let's add like terms and uh, in the stand, the general form kailangan lahat would be in the left side so itong 50 ilalagay din natin sa kabila alright so i-rewrite muna natin meron tayong x squared plus y squared 8x wala siyang kaparehas same as wait this is what should be 10y I'm sorry this should be 10y minus 10y Alright, so this is 16 plus 25. 16 plus 25 would be equal to uh, 41. Am I right? May tama, siguro. Teka lang. 16 plus 25 is 16 plus 25. 
16 plus 25. Tama, 41. 41. And itong 50, transpose natin sa kabilang side ng equation. That would be equal to negative 50 equals 0. Okay, combine like terms. Like terms lang naman dito is 41 and 50. Sila lang yung mag-like ng each other. <gasps> So, ito, diba? Sana all lang na like. So, yan. Basically, that would be x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 10y. 41 minus 50. Tan -tan -tan -tan. Para sure, trust issues. Mag-calculator ako. That's negative 9. Negative 9 equals 0. So, basically, this would be your final answer, guys. Converting this standard equation into general equation, basically, you need to expand this. Alright? Next problem. Okay. Diameter problem or the midpoint formula. Kung marirecall nyo, we have the distance formula, midpoint formula. Very essential yun guys. Kasi for example, we have the diameter. Hindi naman diameter yung kailangan natin sa pag-solve ng equation ng circle which is the radius. So kailangan natin hanapin yung gitna. So paano natin gagawin yun? Let's take a look, take a look with this problem. Write the equation of a circle whose diameter has n points. 4, negative 1, negative 6, and 7. So basically, I'll just draw a line here, kunwari circle yan yeah. oh my god, ang pangit ng circle ko ngayon ko lang nahalata okay, siguro this would be hindi to naka, ano ah, naka graph talaga, sinusulat ko lang para ma-identify natin, negative 6, 7 alright, so kasi yan, diameter yan, di ba? diameter and points na is ito so we need to write the equation basically guys, when we are writing equation ano ba yung mga kailangan natin kailangan yung that would be the very first step when you are solving like this para hindi magulo. Dapat alam nyo kung anong hinahanap nyo because if you don't know what you are finding, you will go nowhere. Wow! Inspirational naman na. Alright. So, that would be equal to... Ano ba yung hinahanap? Okay. So, anong hinahanap natin? Back to topic. Back to topic. Anong hinahanap? Since equation ng circle, kailangan natin ng radius. Ay, oh yeah. The length of the radius and the center. Center which is the HK. Kailangan natin yung dalawang yan. And we don't have one of them Kasi diameter lang naman yung given So, una, paano natin mahahanap yung center? Basically, that's midpoint formula Ano ba yung midpoint formula? Para hindi, na lang, hindi naman kayo madagdagan ng formula It's basically add, uh, getting the uh, sum of the x divided by 2 Getting the sum of the y divided by 2 So, this is xy This is xy, x yun na, sorry xy, xy So, sum 4 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 2 divided by 2. Yun na yung x, axis, x coordinate mo. Y naman, negative 1 plus 7 is 6. That's 6 over 2. So, simplifying this, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Tama ba? Yes, tama. So, here guys, ang center natin is equal to negative 1 and 3. Kulang pa tayo guys. We need the radius, right? So, paano natin makukuha tong radius? So, ito guys, that's negative 1 and 3. Uh, basically, magdi-distance formula lang tayo. Hahanapin natin yung length ng dalawang to. So, distance formula, that's uh, squared of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Yan. Or substitute values. Okay, so that x, my x sub 2, that would be negative 6 minus negative 1 squared plus that would be 7 minus 3 squared. Simplifying that, that's negative 6 minus negative 1 magiging plus. So that's negative 6 plus 1, that's negative 5 squared plus 7 minus 3, that's 4 squared. So that would be 25 plus 16. 25 plus 16, guys, is square root of 41. So basically, the radius here is square root of 41. So, writing the equation, uh, kapag wala sinabi, they are referring to standard equation, that would be equal to x minus center, which is negative 1 squared plus y minus k. Ano yung k natin? Sa center, that's 3. 3 is equal to radius, which is square root of 41. Pero ito, is squared pa natin yan because it's r squared, alright? Huwag nyo kakalimutan, it's r squared. is square pa natin tong radius. So basically, simplifying this, we will have our final answer as, gamit tayo ng kakaibang pen. So that would be x plus 1, kasi that's negative-negative, squared, plus y minus 3, 
is equal to, kasi square, naka-square root yung square root, matatanggal yung square root, so that's 41. So this is our final answer, guys. Alright? Next problem. So for our last problem, uh, problem to about find the center in the radius of a circle given x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 8y minus 5. So kung mapapansin nyo guys, ang given natin do, given natin dito is in general general form or the general equation. Naka-general equation siya. So kailangan natin hanapin daw yung center. That's the hk. And kailangan din hanapin yung radius. So paano natin yan mahanap? Na yung given naman ngayon is yung general equation. Okay, so... I will show you paano yan. Basically guys, it's uh it's parang babalik ta rin babalik ba, 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 babalik ta rin. All right, babalik ta rin natin yung process kasi di ba? Kung mapapansin niyo dito, when we uh dito sa teka lang. Ito. When we converted standard equation going to general equation, in expand natin siya, di ba? So ibig sabihin kapag ibabalik natin dito Kapag ibabalik natin, sana all bumabalik, di ba? Kapag ibabalik natin dito, when kailangan natin siyang i-factor. Parang we make it simpler. Uh, do you get the point? And expand natin siya. Ngayon, ibabalik natin. Ibalik natin yung pagka-expand niya. Let's make it simpler. Kasi, makukuha lang natin yung center tsaka radius kapag na-convert natin to sa standard equation. So basically, kapag i re yung tanong na ito, find the center and radius of a circle given dito, parang same lang yan as saying that convert the general equation into the standard equation. Parang same lang yung problem na ganun. Iba na yung pagka-state. Alright? So, i-convert natin yan, i-factor out natin. Pag Let's make it simpler para makuha to. So, paano natin gagawin yan? First, is let's write x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 8y minus 5 is equal to 0. Alright. Dito guys, let's do grouping. Alright. Completing the grouping muna tayo, then let's do completing the square. And marami namang way dito, pero I think this is the most easier, easy, hindi naman. So easier, easier way lang, hindi most. Let's not uh, assume, di ba? Bawal assuming guys, bawal assuming. Alright. So let's do that. That's x squared. Let's group like terms. x squared tsaka yung may mga x, o di ba? Lahat na mga mag by x magsama kayong lahat. Woo! 'Yon. I-group din natin yung mga y. Ito, y squared tsaka 8y. Tsaka yung mga mag-isa, yung mga walang kasama si negative 5. Sorry, mag-isa lang kayo. Kailangan niyo mapag-isa. Balik namin kayo sa kabilang side. Yan. Kasi kung mag-isa ka, you need to go to the other side. May sense ba? I think wala. Okay, hayaan mo na. Alright, so after nito, di ba yung equation kasi is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r. So kung mapapansin nyo, dapat may square dito, may square dito. Para gawin yon let's do completing the square. If you remember completing the square, that would be equal to x squared minus 4x plus Meron tayong box dito, plus blank, may may dadagdag dyan. Tapos, wait, plus y squared plus 8y plus blank ulit is equal to 5 plus dalawang blank. Blank, blank, alright? So, let's do completing the square. Completing the square, we get the middle term divided by 2 in the square. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 square is 4. Diba? Dito naman tayo. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 square is 16. Do you get? Divide the middle term by 2 and square it out. So, kung ano, kung lahat, kung ano man yung dinagdag mo sa kabila, be fair, idagdag mo rin sa kabilang side. So, you add here 4 and you add here 16. Do you get the process? I hope so. Next, pwede natin siyang i-factor out since complete square na siya. So, this would be equal to square root of x is x. Middle term is negative kasi negative yon. Square root of 4 is 2. That's square. So, this, this is the same as that. Pinak, parang we made it simpler. We factored it. Hindi factored. Yeah, factored it out. Then, that's why middle term is positive. So, this would be positive. Square root of 16 is 4. 
squared is equal to 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 16 is 25, guys. Alright? So, this is the standard equation. Diba? This is the standard equation. Pero yung tinatanong, what's the center in the radius? Basically, the center here, guys, is what's the x? Okay, so, what's the center, guys? The center here, guys, is basically uh, 2 and negative 4. Okay, guys, kapag uh, kinukuha nyo, kapag may equation tayo, then kukunin nyo yung, uh, yung center. This is the hk, diba? Yung 2 tsaka 4. What you need to do is balik rin nyo lang yung side dito. Kapag ito negative, naging positive. Ito positive, naging negative. Be because that's x minus negative. So parang, that, that, that's the concept behind that. Paano ko ba explain? Yun. Basta balik rin nyo. Kung negative yon, positive yon. Kung positive yon, negative yon. Balik taran lang. It's, uh, basta, mababalik tad yon. Ngayon, next naman guys, is radius. Radius natin is 25, diba? Kasi this is r. Mali. R, this is R squared. Diba? R squared yan, guys. So, para makuha nyo yung R, kailangan nyo pang square root yan. Square root of 25, which means R is equal to 5. So, this is your final answer, guys. This general equation has a, has a center at 2 and negative 4 and a radius of 5. So, that's it, mga bis. Maraming salamat sa panunod. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye, mga bubu.